Hey, what's up, you guys? B Rand in here. Um, so we're going fishing again today. Uh, so the plan is, I'm gonna take my little inflatable boat out. This will be the third time I'm taking it out. Uh, I'm gonna put in behind Target in Eureka. There's a little slough back there. I uh, fished there a little while back and didn't do that great, but I caught a little leopard shark. I caught a couple perch over there. So we're gonna try that out and uh, see how it goes. I gotta go pick me up a couple more supplies, get some food in me, and uh, then we'll get out in the water. I'm hoping to get out by or before 10, but if that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, I'm really hoping to, uh, I'd really like to hook into some bat rays out there in my little boat. I used to catch them in my uh, inflatable kayak out there. So, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens, see if we can get something good. Either way, it'll be good to get out there. So, you guys are checking out the video. Thanks for checking it out. I appreciate it. And, uh, I'll update you on what happens. Here we are behind Target again. So here we are, this is the spot, it's cool to get down here at low tide and actually see what everything looks like, so uh, yeah, get the boat blown up and get out there, might be easier to fucking launch by those rocks, see what this mud's like, we're gonna get dirty you guys, getting dirty. Alright, so we got the boat all set up, took a little while, but, and we're getting a little muddy, but what are you going to do, right? Splash around a little, the mud off me. The current seems pretty mellow at the moment, so, uh. I'm gonna get all rigged up and stuff and let you guys know what's going on here. Maybe we'll catch some. All right, so I got one of my lines rigged up. I think I'm gonna head over to that bridge before the tide starts racing in and uh, try anchoring up over there and see what I can find. A little later on, I'll try this bridge here. That's the 101 right there. Oh, that rocky stuff there looks kind of interesting. I'll have to check that out. I don't know how, how fast it drops off, how deep it is right there, but that rocky stuff looks definitely interesting. I never fished right there before. Almost to the bridge. Right, let's, let's find out what's happening under this bridge here. I fished off of the bridge once and I caught one perch. But today's another day. Let's see how deep we are here. Not too deep, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, not, not very deep right here at all. I think the whole slew is pretty shallow though. But the tide will be coming in soon. And like you said, we'll, we'll see what happens. Try swinging that over there, see what's over there. We're looking at something here. Oh God! Oh shit! Uh, how about you guys? 
that's just that. Fuck yeah. It ain't keeper, but let's measure it just to see, huh? I believe there's supposed to be 22. We are not there, but. Yeah, 17 and a half inch. Ain't too bad, can't complain. Can't complain about that. Complain, buddy. Back in the water, buddy. Fuck yeah. First fish of the day, you guys. Not a Berkeley Gold Sandworm. Nice halibut. Not a keeper, but nice fish anyway, if you ask me. Not expecting that. <laughs> Let's get out and get another one. Hey. Hey. Getting some bites out here. There's another one. We had a good little tug out there a second ago. I can't get another one of them halibut. We got something else on here. Feels pretty nice. This guy fucking thumped it too. Ooh. This guy feels fucking heavy. Don't get in my other line, buddy. Another halibut, you guys. Woo! Another halibut. I have to figure out the best way to get these guys in the boat. The way I'm doing it's not the best way. And I don't want to lose him. I'm using like eight pound test lines, so don't want him to just snap off of there. Come on, bud. Should I try to lift him? No. Just keep it like that, buddy. There we go. Not bad, you guys. Not bad at all. I think I might end up catching a keeper halibut today. If I'm lucky. How big is that one? Shit. Get you measured. Well, not there yet, but... 20 inches, 21 inch, close but no cigar, you guys. Get you back in the water, buddy. I'll get you back in the water. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, another one. Not too bad, let's get another one. Let's get a keeper. Alright, so I got a good one on you guys. I got it while I wasn't, hooked it while I wasn't filming, but this is a good one. Let's see, I'm, I'm guessing this one's a keeper. It looks bigger than the last one I got. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. 
Can I get him in the boat, though, is the question. I might need to invest in a net. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. I just killed him. I hope he's a keeper. I'm like 90 something percent sure he is a keeper. So, just break that off of there. You gotta measure this bitch up. And I got it on camera. My finger, fucker. Oh shit. He just got me good with his fucking teeth, you guys. We are legal. We are legal. I think that's my first legal halibut, you guys. Look at that. He fucking got me good with his teeth, though. Well, hell yes. I think that's a... I'm gonna call that a win, you guys. I'm gonna call that a fucking win. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Try that again. What a bloody mess! What a bloody mess! Yeah, clearly I haven't really done that before. Let's see if we can do that again. I don't think I need to keep another one, but... If we get another one, maybe I can get it in the boat without fucking tearing his gills up. Hey? <laughs> that fucker bit me. Right, guys. So, uh, yeah, since I caught that keeper halibut, uh, the bites really kind of slowed down quite a bit. Um,. About five minutes or so ago, I hooked into something that, I, I mean, I think it was another halibut, but it got off my line, but it felt pretty good. So I'm still just chucking this worm, seeing what I can get. Hopefully we get another one. I got about another hour or so before I'm taking off or planning to take off. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, you guys, if you're watching it. Well, you guys, as hard as it is for me to to reel in and take off, it's about that time. I want to get the get the boat deflated and stuff, and get home and get it get it cleaned up. I haven't cleaned it very well the last couple times I've used it, so get her cleaned up real good. Go see the lady; she's gonna be getting off work soon. But uh, yeah, the bite like completely died. I had that first. The first hour or two was pretty good, and then, then it just shut down. So, might as well call it quits. I got a got a good size halibut to clean here, and the ice chest. And yeah, I'd say it was a pretty uh, pretty decent day fishing, though. Could have caught a few more, but what I did catch was uh, definitely worth it. You know. So, uh, if you guys are checking this out and you are from Humboldt County, um, you know, I'm looking for new spots to try. I've been fishing the bay for, uh, on and off for several years now and, you know, I'm adventuring into some new spots, but, uh, if you've got any local spots that, uh, 
you think it would be cool to check out uh let me know in the comments uh, i'd appreciate that i'm like i said i'm looking for some new spots to try some find some more fish you know but uh thanks for checking out the video uh stay tuned we're gonna clean this fish up and uh probably cook it up tonight for dinner so thanks for checking it out you guys all right submit it back to the launch ramp uh probably throw a few casts here before i take out or take off while i'm getting the boat ready and cleaning my fish up yeah here's the catch of the day right here not too uh not too bad if you ask me pretty stoked i've never cleaned one of these guys before so we're gonna gonna learn how to do that all right so we're here back at shore and i am going to attempt to fillet this uh I'm going to attempt to flay this halibut um, and guys in the comments feel free to make fun of me or anything like that this is my first halibut I am cleaning so I'm probably not gonna be very good at it but yeah feel free to laugh at me make jokes or whatever in the comment section um, but we're gonna try this out I just watched a little YouTube tutorial on how to do this so uh let's hope it all goes good hey This is going okay, you guys. Not too bad for my first time, I don't think, for that little piece. No, I missed some there, but what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Not doing very good right there, B. Randy. Halfway done, guys. Halfway done. A big old chunk of meat that I missed right there, huh? Totally missed that chunk of meat. But, whatever. All right, now you guys can laugh. I'm struggling here, but that's okay. A little bone in there, but whatever.
There it is. I don't think I did too bad for my first try. Don't think I did too good, but cut um, some decent fucking pieces of meat there. But uh, yeah, I definitely missed some stuff on here. But you know, what are you gonna do? Can't do it right every time. But. <clears throat> that back in the water for the crabs so yeah folks there's our fillets and uh keep watching because we're gonna cook this stuff up um it's my first time filleting halibut this is gonna be my first time cooking halibut also so uh stay tuned check it out right so i'm on the shore about to head out and i threw a couple casts and i Hooked into something earlier, so I thought I'd keep trying. We got something on here. Kind of feels like another halibut, but hopefully my glasses don't die. The battery's running pretty low. It feels like another halibut, though. There and there he goes. Let's see what we got. There he is, another halibut, you guys. Nice end of the day fish. There he goes. Fucking ass. He doesn't like being close to the shore though. Pretty sure that's a little shorty. Even if it was keeper, I wouldn't be keeping it. Come on, buddy. Brandon's gotta go home. <laughs> God, this makes it so hard for me to leave, you guys. You guys understand, I think. You guys understand. Then got it in. Flyers way over there. Guys, but fuck yeah, I uh, can't complain about that. Got uh, some good fish at the beginning of the day and uh, end the day off with a good fish. Get him back in the water and uh, hopefully he'll be happy out there. There you go, buddy. There you go. Go on. You're home. Swim away. Come on, bud. Come on. There he goes. Said, tap his tail a little bit. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my tiny kitchen. Uh, if you're watching this, you probably already know we got ourselves some halibut. Or I got myself some halibut. We're gonna make some food. Uh, so I'm thinking fish tacos. So here's the plan. Got some onions right here. These are uh, yellow onions. Um, I squeezed this lemon into there. So it's got lemon juice in there. Also, I've got this. This is uh, some of the flesh from the lemon and some of the rind from the lemon chopped up nice and fine. And we're gonna throw that on top of our onions uh, but the plan is we're gonna caramelize these onions so we're gonna get our pan heated up and we're gonna melt some butter in there and we are going to caramelize some onions all right so when you're caramelizing the onions you don't want the pan too hot so we'll go ahead and load some butter in there we'll watch it melt All right, so now we got melted butter. Dump the onions in there. So 
the deal with caramelized onions, you want them to cook for a long time, you don't want them to burn. You want them to get all nice and soft and caramelized. Um, but you don't want black onions, so it takes a while. You gotta do it at a low temperature. So when you're heating up your pan, listen to your uh, onions cooking, and when they really get going, it's time to uh, turn the temp down. We'll go ahead and add our uh, lemon zest and stuff. You know what, for good measure, let's throw some lemon pepper in there, eh? This does take a while if you're gonna make them good. And you also gotta, gotta stir them up quite a bit. But it's totally worth it. This is definitely, when you're caramelizing onions, it's definitely a case of haste makes waste. So here's our bag of halibut, um, and since these guys are going to be taking a while, uh, I'm going to go ahead and prep this up. Um, there is more halibut in that one fish that I caught than we need for this meal. So the plan is, I'm going to cut some of the thicker chunks of the fillets and use those for the tacos, and then we're going to take the thinner chunks and we're going to end up deep frying them uh, probably another day. Probably not in this video. So this one's for tacos, that one's for deep frying. Here's my little mangled filet that I didn't do too good on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop that mangled part off. We're gonna deep fry it. All right, so here's what we're gonna cook up for tonight. This is for deep frying. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring, just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. All right, so that's about how I want my onions to look. We could let them go a little longer, but it takes a long time and uh, I'm getting impatient. I wanna make my dinner. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set some of these aside. We're gonna leave a little bit of it in there. Throw a bunch more butter in there. How much butter do we use? That amount. That is the exact measurement. Let that get good and melted right. there. So we got that butter melted there. Uh, I'm gonna leave this on a medium heat here. We'll just add our fish. Now I'm trying not to get the onions underneath the fillets because I don't want the onions to burn onto the fillets. If you guys have seen any of my other uh, videos where I went fishing and took them home and cooked them. Uh, you guys probably already know that I kind of like to cook my fish at a fairly low temperature. Um, I kind of like to do most of my cooking at a pretty low temperature. So we're going to let those cook for a little bit. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks like these guys are ready for a little flippy. Uh, before I do that, Sprinkle a little bit of lemon pepper across the top of them. And guys, I'm really, I'm not used to cooking fish this thick, so we'll see what happens. Apparently I'm not used to flipping fish this thick either.
Hey, if you guys like uh, like going fishing and taking your catch home and eating it, uh, what's your favorite way to uh, to cook your fish? Let me know down in the comments because I'm always looking for new ways to cook stuff. Trying something new, you know what I mean? This recipe here actually came from uh, somebody not buying me enough lemons to make what I wanted to make. So. Looks like they're gonna be done pretty soon. Well, you guys, I think they be done. No, what do you guys think? I don't think it looks pretty yummy. Broken. Then we'll just throw the extra butter and onions. Eh, that's a lot of butter. We'll throw the extra onions in with the uh, the other onions. There you have it, guys. So it's my first time uh, cooking halibut. I want to say it's probably, to my knowledge, probably my second time or third time eating halibut. Let's see how it tastes. It's hot. Yeah, turned out pretty good. It's still really hot. <laughs> yeah, that's tasty. Cool, we're gonna throw together some tacos. But Crazy Katie made us a beautiful peach salsa. And also a jalapeno and uh, cilantro uh, sour cream to go with our fish tacos. And that's very awesome of her. You know what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and dump the butter, the rest of the melted butter on top of the fish. Just for good butter measure. I don't wanna waste food. There's starving people everywhere. All right. So we can put our fish. A bit of onion. Some book Crazy Katie's awesome salsa. And a little dollop daisy. And I don't know, looks like a pretty good fish taco to me. Thanks for watching you guys. Have a good one. Have fun fishing. <laughs>